Our second preliminary features uh, two perfect games from Gene Zebarth out of Millet, Alberta against uh, rookie John DeGrazia, first time from Thunder Bay here on TSN, but it is DeGrazia with the spare and strike and the early advantage. Better, better, yep. Hit what he was aiming at that time. Left hand pocket. John DeGrazia works for the Brewers Retail. There it is. Oh, it looked good, didn't it? I mean, it just. Right out of his hand. Yeah. Had Very smooth to the foul line. Timing's a little different than a lot of the players. He actually plants and then comes through with his arm. Kind of more like a 10-pinner. But very smooth approach. Under control. Yeah, it looked like that time he got going a little bit quick and I had to stop right quickly at the foul line. Still managed to get the ball to the head pin, leave himself a left corner. Right on it. Boy, terrific start for John DeGrazia. He's uh, had a mark in all four frames. Now Gene Zebarth. Millet, Alberta. Just south of Edmonton. Down towards uh, Wetaskiwin. Those of you who are familiar on the drive. Highway 2 towards Red Deer and then on to Calgary. Pulled it left again. That's not like Gino. Uh, every time I've seen him bowl, he's been absolutely deadly on the head pin. In fact, his normal downfall is punching. Uh, it's certainly not for missing the middle. And he gets to spare in four. Just want to remind everybody, close to 1,800 players across the country entered the house rounds to qualify that's where you start so if you're interested in being part of the Canadian Championship ask your local bowling center about the Canadian Championships and how you qualify and we could see you here next year He knows it when it's there. Mm -hmm. Every time it crosses the arrows, he's been in a perfect spot. And right on left-hand pocket. Pretty much straight end over end roll from Gino. Doesn't put a lot of side spin on it. So he has to rely on accuracy and getting the ball to the pocket. Ooh. Really full, that right corner just fell late. Broke up that possible split. And the three pin did touch it, just moved it a little bit, but not enough to knock it over. Oh. <laughs> and so he keeps the string going, marks in every frame so far. Well, got a break and took advantage of it. Playing well. Has the uh, pin count in his favor through four, but it is Zebarth who has the strike up in five. Mentioned DeGrazia with his uh, first perfect game coming earlier this year. Boy, he's all around it. Boy, that's terrific stuff from John DeGrazia. 
All right, throwing the ball great. Six frames, he's only missed the middle once, and that was in the very first frame. But other than that, perfect on his spare shots. And as you mentioned, somebody that's come to the game relatively late. Obviously worked hard at it. Now bowling with his, uh, his son and winning tournaments. Oh boy, oh, oh boy. One back for Gino. Finn in that left hand pocket, but he gets a good slide from the head pin and the three pin going towards the right corner pin. So he has his first double. Needs one more here to get back in this match. Zebarth appeared in the uh, 2005 Canadian Championship here on TSN. Made it to the quarters, won $1,000. You know, it's funny. He was more deliberate there, took more time there than he had or did when he threw the two strikes. Yeah. Just overthinking it. Mm -hmm. Just trying to get set, I think. And yeah, you, you can sometimes take too, too much long, time. Yeah. So he punches the head pin, but you can see now that's going to hurt him, leading probably to the, obviously, to the open frame. Unless he comes through with a miracle shot, that will stop the string of the couple of strikes, and DeGrazia has the uh, strike up. Pick it up on the replay right over the center. Arrow drives it straight back. And it is just the head pin he knocked out of there. And then there's John DeGrazia. You know, he said, you don't know him. We haven't seen him. He's relatively late to the game, but my goodness, Mark so far... You know, and that's the other thing. I don't know whether it's people are just more in tune with media. I can remember the early days of doing the uh, pins game and then the championships, and you'd have some people who were shaken in their shoes. But the f I don't know whether it's the mental training that's going on in the game today, but the focus seems to be better. You can just, sh they just are able to shut things out. It's all about that. It's about better coaching, making their athletes prepared. And that includes being able to handle pressure, whether it's lights or TV, or individual competitions. So Zebarth gets the left side after punching the head pin. He'll leave three on the on the lane. Counts to 12. 162 through seven with the open. And look at DeGrazia, what he has going. He had 161 through five. So right now it's one point advantage for Zebarth, but DeGrazia has the strike up, and he's about to play seven. Big lift. Ouch. Now well, here's a possible open frame. This is a tough spare. It can be done. I'm going to slide the three pin across the lane, try and take out the left corner pin. So put the ball between the three and the two? Yeah, absolutely. Three pin very, very thin. Ah, good try. John Bowles at the uh, Galaxy Lanes in Thunder Bay. Trying to come off the back wall. He'll leave the uh, two, the corner, and scores 13. His, his first open frame comes in the seventh. He sits at 199 through seven. And both players, seventh frame with opens. Gino on the double, and John after the strike. 
37 pin lead for John DeGrazia. And to the other side, and gets right back on the bike as he gets a strike. Left hand pocket, little back up, right flush in the pocket. Great shot. What Zebarth got here? He misses the head pins. Uh, Gene works for Telus in their telecommunications department. As you can see, he's puzzled too. He doesn't know why he's missing this head pin. Four times this game, all four of them. He's pushed to the left. Comes back with despair. So he's, he's got a mark here, not an open frame. I still got a possible 282 if he can get a strike here in the ninth and then finish with three in the tenth. First one, that's a good shot. up to John DeGrazzi. He's going to finish the game first mm -hmm. by bowling the ninth and 10th frames. And he can get up. He knows Gino can only get to 282. Did you uh, did you prefer this scenario, you to finish first, or did you like to see what you had to beat? I'd rather have me finish first, especially in a match like this. Mm -hmm. Timely back-to-back -back for John DeGrazzi. Just be on the side. That's all you want to do. Avoid a split. Wow. The door's still open. Hmm. And Gino's looking at the scoreboard. He and knows he, it, yeah. He knows he's still got a chance. Good count. That was critical to count some on that second ball because he was working on a double going into that tenth frame. Cleans up the five. He's got a possible 274 for John DeGrazia. Gino has to have the first strike in the tenth. Well, he's going to finish with his uh, 15 count for the 274. Very impressive. First time here. For John DeGrazia, who averages uh, 255 at the Galaxy Lanes in Thunder Bay. Gino must have the first two strikes in the 10th frame to win this match. Gene Bowles at the Bonnie Dew Lanes in Edmonton and the Heritage Bowl in Red Deer. Just haven't seen much consistency from Gene Zebarth no, so he, far. No, never really got it going other than the strikes in the fifth and the sixth, but then he followed that up with a head pin. You got one here? First one? No. no, he'll spin it over the top. Ouch. And John DeGrazia checks the scoreboard and knows that he will move on, taking out one of this country's very best in Gene Zebar. And just that's so typical. That's the kind of game. Yeah, good job. 242 for Gene Zebart, former Canadian Open champion. And he's Hi, defeated by John DeGrazia of Thunder Bay with a 274. And so now DeGrazia will try to knock off another Hi, Canadian Bay champion in Bob Osborne of St. John's, Newfoundland.